go. Hi, I'm John Sturck. I'm here with Liz, and we're going to do a little magic for you. Yay. So, Liz, uh, I think you know the drill. Pick a card? Yeah, I don't like saying it because it's cliche. I can do it. Is it going to throw you off if I grab this card? Well, you can do whatever you want, Liz. Aha! I'm already one step ahead. All right, take a good look at it. I won't look, but show the camera. Got it? Yeah. Okay, now Liz, you tell me where to stop. You gotta go fast. fast. You gotta go faster, Liz. Just say stop. Stop. I didn't go yet, okay. Liz. <laughs> Alright, one more time. Just say stop. Stop. That one was oh, sorry. that one was for me. I'm okay. sorry. Now we'll do it this way. You just right. tell me where to stop. Stop. Right there. Alright, put your card right there. <laughs> Watch this, Liz. No funny moves, no sleight of hand. Mm -mm. Is that fair or That's is that fair. fair? That's fair. Now people often say to me at this point, John which is my name. Well, Mom called me Rover, but she wanted a dog. They say to me, John, it's got to be impossible to find that card. Mm -hmm. And it would be, if not for my trained eye. You see, I have a trained eye that allows me to see subtle differences among the cards. I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, I am the one with the trained eye, after all. But there is one card that stands out to me just a little bit. I think it might be this one. Mm -hmm. Now, let me clarify with you, Liz. You didn't pick a blue card, did you? I did not. I picked a red card. A red card. What was yours? It was the Ace of Hearts. The Ace of Hearts. Yep. All right, Liz, I'll tell you what. I'm going to put your Ace of Hearts over here. Okay. And I'll put the box on top of it so it doesn't get away. Okay. Now, I knew you were going to say the Ace of Hearts, which is why I had the red one over here in my pocket. But I digress. We'll have you pick one more. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I'm Go ahead. Just one. grab any one. That one there? Yes. Show it around. And this time, Liz, I'm feeling extra generous. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the choice. Do you want to stay with that card or pick a different one? I want to pick a different card. You're sure? Yes. All right. Fair enough. Go ahead and put it back in. I'll give it a little mix here. Yep. Oh, is that your card? No. <laughs> that, that would have been good. Uh, go, go ahead. Just grab another one. <clears throat> that one there? Yes. Stay with that one or pick a different one? This one. That You're sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. Liz, I'm going to propose something a little radical. Are you proposing? Well, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Turn your card face up. Ah, Six of Diamonds. Yes. Liz, I have a little surprise for you. What? Remember that blue card over yeah. there under the card box? Yeah. What card do you think that is? I think it's probably going to be a Six of Diamonds now. <laughs> There it is. Why didn't I stick with my first car? I gave you the complete choice. Anyway, that's not bad. All right. But now I'm going to show you something that's pretty good. Okay. This is a trick. I don't know if you're familiar with the old three shell game. Yes. Three cups, a ball, they mix it up, they got to get guess which one. Yeah. Well, the way that we play here in Chicago, one cup and one ball. Got it. You'd think it'd be easy this way, but it's not. Now you can go ahead, step inside, Liz, see if there's anybody waiting in there for me. It's empty. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it's good. No trap doors, no hidden assistance, escaping gases. You take the ball, drop it in the cup. Now you can hear it rattling around in there. Mm -hmm. The object of the game is for me to sneak the ball from the cup mm -hmm. into my pocket. Okay. Then to sneak it back from my pocket back under the cup without you uh, seeing. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can handle that, Liz? Yes, I do. You sure? Yes. All right, we'll start over from the top. Okay. Go ahead, take the ball, drop it in. Go ahead. You hear it? Yeah. I'll do it real slow this time. Watch. Okay. <laughs> Notice I wiggle the finger. Yes. It doesn't do anything. It just looks good. It looks really good. It's like awesome. parsley on fish. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't do anything. But if I snap, the ball goes. Travels invisibly through the air, back. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, Liz, would you, would you give me a snap, please? Okay, well, that was close. <laughs> All right, one more time, Liz. Was that me? I did the magic yeah, there? Yeah. Well, okay. You've got the magic in you. 
Here we go. Watch close. Okay. Now that's the tricky one. Yeah. You have to guess. Where do you think the ball is? Under the cup or in my pocket? Um, I think it's in your pocket. In my pocket. Oh, she's right. Of course, had you said it was under the cup, then, well, that's where it would be. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I cheat. Yeah. I'll tell you how it works. See, I actually have two balls. Yeah. One of them's just a lot bigger than the other. <laughs> that's a racquetball there. Yeah. The thing I don't understand, Liz, uh -huh. where the hell the lime comes from? Or, or how the heck all that stuff fits in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Liz, uh, thank you so much. Can I keep the line? You've been I, need, a... I need a drink now. All right, we'll get you a margarita <laughs> with you. I'm John Sturck. This is Brendan and Cody's Untitled Podcast. See you next time.